Hey there, Mac users and Mac automators. In this particular episode of the third day of the Mac Automation Challenge, I'm going to show you a feature in Better Touch Tool that may well cause you to start checking it out. So stay tuned. All right, so here we go. You know, I've already done a, better, a video about Better Touch Tool, comparing it to the finger gesture features in Mac OS. So definitely check out that video if you, particularly if you don't know anything about Better Touch Tool. Um, Better Touch Tool has hundreds of actions and finger gestures, but, but there are a few of them that I use like all the time when I'm at the computer. So you know how you're in an application, say Safari, for example, Safari, and if you do have to go up to the menu bar, you have to drag your cursor up to the menu bar in order to get to an action. Now, if you have a large size monitor like I do, that's even like even more cumbersome. You have to drag your thing, drag your cursor up to the menu bar. And even if I have a small monitor, that can be a problem as well. But when I want to get to the menu bar, the first two those times that I have to, all I have to do is a four finger swipe down, right? And there it is, the menu bar in context right here. And I can reach any item this way here. That's all I have to do. And this works in any application that has a menu bar, and most of them do, right? And uh, that's all I have to do is the four finger swipe down, and there it goes. And you'll see me do this in probably a lot of the videos when I'm doing you know video tutorials, okay? So let's switch to, um, to Better Touch Tool, right? And here it is. And let's go up, four finger swipe down. Let's see, where is that at here? There it is. There it is right here. Um, this is how it's created. Now, let me show you how to put it together because you notice I have, like I said, even in terms of even my global gestures and actions, I have, you know, probably, I don't know, four or five dozen. Can't even know. But uh, and, and get, believe me, you can learn how to use this program. So you go down to, to create it, you go down to add new gesture right here. And here's the big thing right here. You go to predefined actions and look at that. All these different predefined actions inside it. And so you see, you look up menu bar in context and you're going to look at uh, show menu bar in context menus. I already created for you right there. And then all you have to do is go over here and find yourself a, a, a finger gesture that you're comfortable with and that's easy for you to use uh, because you're going to be using it probably a lot. So you pick out that and you know you go over here and you give it a name uh, menu bar in action or, or in context something like that and and that's it that's all you really have to do and uh, so it's just that simple and you got you ready to go all right so that's it for this tutorial today but let me tell you I do have a course on better touch tool that you can check out if you're interested in learning all about better touch tool and getting up to speed with it very quickly but i also have um, articles on my website macautomationtop.com that you can check out to get you started and there are also a couple of uh yeah to uh, video tutorials here on this channel so be sure to subscribe to the channel because i'll be adding some more tips about better touch tool as well as other mac automation applications so i look forward to seeing you again tomorrow with mac automation challenge Day four.